Hello friends, welcome back to part 2 of the Unity Ragdoll series. In today's video, I will be showing you how to balance your ragdoll so that it stays upright. Let's get into it. Before we start, I would like to let you know that I have upgraded the project version from 2019.3 to 2019.4.8. That is also why I have the dark theme, because it's free for everyone now. Alright, so let's get started on balancing this ragdoll. So right now when we click play, as you can see all the limbs um, are just kind of falling down onto themselves and this is not really what we want because we want the head to be on the top and we want it so that this ragdoll is trying to get back up whenever it's pushed or um, fallen. Also the hips are locked in place so we need to fix that as well. So let's get started. Also, if you want to find out how to do this, there will be a link in the description to the last video. Alright, let's get started now. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the hips, um, select the hips, scroll down to the configurable joint, and where it says X motion, Y motion, and Z motion, I'm going to set these to free. So this is why the hips were locked in place, it's because the motion was set to free. In the last video I did say that you want to keep the motion locked, but since these hips aren't connected to anything, we're going to set it to free so that it can fall. And now when the hips fall, everything connected um, to it will also fall as well. And there we go, our ragdoll is falling now, which is good. Now let's get started on balancing the ragdoll. I want to show you this procedurally, so I'm going to keep the game playing. Alright, so to balance the ragdoll, we need to look at one of the properties of the configurable joint. The internal uh, angular drive system. So if we scroll down until we say uh, target rotation, not target position but target rotation um for now we're not going to edit these values but if we go down even more you can see there's an angular x drive and an angular y z drive so this is basically a spring and that spring will attempt to rotate the joints to a target rotation which is this and right now the target rotation is just the the it's just zero so it's the default rotation um, where the ragdoll is in the t, -po, t, t pose the, this is the t pose okay so what we're gonna do is slowly increase the springs for all of the joints and watch them and watch the joints attempt to reach this target rotation which is the default t pose so let's slowly increase the X drive and see what happens. So the joints are spinning around and stuff. But it isn't getting up that much. So I'm just going to do the YZ drive now and see what happens. Oh, there we go. We're starting to see it. Um, as you can see, all the joints aren't really folding into each other now except for these legs let's keep going the legs are starting to look better now what about the x drive oh there we go we're seeing it kind of start to get back up if we keep increasing it there we go our ragdoll has lifted now I'm just going to set it to this much so that it stays upright. And there we go, our ragdoll is starting to balance, which is good. And another good thing is that if we select everything except for our hips and lower the position strings, I'm going to set it to 180. You can see the ragdoll just popping down and up. So I've set each limb 
except for the hips to 180 for the position strings and you can see that each limb is attempting to go back to the T pose but you can still wiggle the ragdoll around and watch the limbs fly around so that's this is what we want we want it to balance but we don't want it to be a static uh, model This is also how we're going to animate the ragdoll while it's still having uh, the ragdoll properties. So this is good. For the hips, we're going to set the springs to 750. And the reason this is because the hips are connected to nothing, which is um, which makes them very important. And basically, we need this to have a... Um, high spring factor so that will so that the whole model will always stay upright because if we set it to zero you can see it just fall over so let's set it back to 750 and you can watch the ragdoll pop back up so yeah that is how you balance your ragdoll that is pretty much it for this video, so if you liked it, um, thanks for watching and bye!